A lot of the responses I received from patients who took part in the trial with regards to stopping the medicines was a lot of concern about stopping the medicines. Some individuals found that the medicines were almost like a crutch and feeling that they could rely on the medicines. And there was some concern about coming off of that and what that would do with regards to raising the amount of virus in their blood and that, what that effect would have on them. Uh, a lot of individuals, again, like that sense of taking charge of their infection and did not want to come off the medicines. It was explained to them that we don't know if this is going to be beneficial or not, so we have to stop the medicines because we can't carry on with regards to the clinical trial. I also had the, the slight concern is that my immune system would do very well whilst I was on the actual meds, but what would happen after I came off them? Um, and certainly I kept a very close record of my CD4 and viral load both during and post coming off. They were told in the beginning when we were uh, enrolling them from the study that of course this is just a study and after some time they will have to stop to take ARVs. So but some of them they felt disappointed because they were afraid that uh, ARVs as the TVs and all the other uh, magazines are educating people that if you are taking ARVs, you cannot stop taking ARVs because of the, the side effects, also because of the resistance. When they stop taking ARVs, most of the participants, they had those fears because they were concerned about the side effects, the resistance and everything that they were taught about in the beginning. So most of them had that concern, what is it going to happen as they have stopped taking the ARVs. The three months had gone really smoothly and my CD4s had risen, and I was thinking, this is okay, I can do this. So I was a bit nervous and thinking, oh my goodness, will I suddenly plummet and have to go on to it forever? If I'd been on the 12-month trial, would that have made a difference? All of those sorts of silly questions in my view now, because I now realize how well-managed things are, but at the time, you know, you're not really sure. I was actually quite uh, ambivalent because I was used to taking the medication. I didn't find it difficult at all. Um, but I wasn't sure whether it was the medication, although I was told it quite possibly was, that, uh, that had made me feel sporadically ill during that previous 12-month period. There wasn't a massive plummet, which I was very pleased. Um, I think... I, I had to go on to meds permanently sooner than perhaps I thought I might in my mind. But one also had to remember, my, because of my age, I mean, once you get over 50, your immune system is weaker anyway. Um, so whether it made any difference, we don't know. But I remember um, when I had my conversation with a consultant, which was, I think, about 18 months two years after stopping the meds in the trial, where it was suggested it was probably now time to think about it. Uh, I remember thinking, yeah, it probably is. Thought it might have been a bit longer, but I was in full agreement. And in fact, I'd had a spate of so many really bad colds and flus, I was almost looking forward then to sort of giving my immune system a boost. I would say about uh, two and a half years, and um, uh, my counts began to change. Uh, not dramatically, but uh, they were not headed in the correct direction. And uh, I was told that I had an option at that time of going on medicine or, or waiting to see what happened. And um, I, I basically said, I'll just go back on because um, um, that was what was re recommended by the doctor, and um, I had put my faith in the doctors in the hospital throughout the whole process, so it was a, a very easy decision. From my experience, the majority of individuals that had to go on treatment within six months to a year after stopping medicines per the trial weren't very happy about that. They had perceived about being on the medicines during the trial, delaying their need to go on medicines indefinitely. And so there was a bit of kind of disappointment. I suppose if someone had said to me, yeah, that uh, we don't know if this has made any difference at all, I suppose once I'd have started them, it would have been easier just to keep going. 
it would be to me a bit like if you were discovered to have high cholesterol or um, diabetes and you were told this is going to control your condition, you get on and control it. I don't think there'd be a problem. It's just something you do before, you know. And I have lots of friends who are HIV negative who, who take blood pressure pills or they take cholesterol pills or they, you know, and they just get on with it. I've got friends who are diabetic who have to inject insulin. And it's life-saving, it's life-extending, and you just do it.